Today I'm going to be making a dog hoodie by upcycling a t-shirt. I started out with just one big piece of material. This one's already done. By removing the seam along the edge of the t-shirt all the way up, staying as close to the seam as you can to leave as much material as possible. Go all the way up, cut off the sleeves and stop there. You'll want to leave the shoulder seam attached and do that on both sides. So that when you're done, all you'll have left is a big piece of material that's just the front and the back of the t-shirt. Big floppy piece of material that's all detached. This one, already done. These are the pattern pieces and I'll put a link to the website where you can see these better. This is the main body of the hoodie. I'll show you what it looks like when it's all done. I have Dottie already wearing one. This is Dottie in her little hoodie. This is what she looks like when her hood's up. She doesn't really enjoy it that much. But. And it attaches behind the legs here. And I use stretchy material so it stays comfortable for the dogs. And I didn't finish this piece on this one. It was just a clicky job. But that can be done. And this is what she looks like when she's wearing it, isn't she, darling? <laughs> okay. So, just start by tracing out your pattern. And I'll use pink so it'll show up. Make sure it's even on both sides, actually. Line it up. You have about the same amount of material on top of both. It doesn't matter if this matches perfect around the collar. So just trace it out. Actually, this one's going to come Straight across. This is a super easy pattern and a super easy sew together project. Even without a sewing machine, of course I would prefer to have one, but even without one, this wouldn't take long to sew together. Okay, so when you get to the armholes, it is easier to cut it out that way. Hold it in here. Okay, so I have this one all cut out. For the armholes, since it cut me off. What I did for the armholes is I folded the t-shirt in half. Well, what's left of it, what's left of the t-shirt. And I made a slit right in the middle of the armhole, right here, and just proceeded to cut the armholes out. And those are for the sleeves, which I've made a different color, and this is the pattern for the sleeves somewhere. And I'll put the measurements to that on the website, and a link to the website where you can see it better. This is the back leg cuff. These, this part of the pattern is your hind legs. To finish those off, which Dottie's wasn't, when I just showed you Dottie, 
But it'll make a nice, more finished piece by using this pattern here. And it's just a simple two inches by six and a half, I think. Yeah, six and a quarter. Two and a half by six and a quarter, okay. And I cut those in half, and those will attach to the bottom of the play cups. And I'll show you how to attach those when we get to the sewing machine. So, there you have it. If you wanted to make the piece that goes around the tail, there you got it. I'm going to be an example again. The piece that goes around the tail to finish off the tail and up around the belly, you can just use the bottom half of the back of the t-shirt that we didn't use. See this is already a nice surged seam. Just cut that off and attach around there and under the belly like so. And I'll show you how to do that too. Thanks, Dot. Go back and see. Okay, here we go to the sewing machine. Okay, so I think this part got cut out of the video too. And this is the shoulder seam where we removed it from the t-shirt from the back of the t-shirt and I've left about an inch and a half on top <coughs> on both sides. The first thing we're going to do is sew on the arm sleeves. Do that face to face. This is the trickiest part of the whole thing, and it's not even that tricky, but sometimes where the armhole is gets a little confusing in the middle of the sleeve, so here we go. I'm just using a straight seam, it's about a quarter of an inch in the seam. I kind of take it for granted that everybody is sewed at least once in their life. Iron holes aren't that difficult. You just have to keep turning it. the same on both sides. I'm going to have to stretch this one just a tiny bit. There you have it. One sleeve is attached. On the other side of this, I like to use a zigzag stitch just to finish off the inside so it's not uncomfortable for Dot. <coughs> the other dogs. So the zigzag stitch right along the seam. Pulling 
both pieces of fabric apart while you're doing it. And it makes a nice little pattern on the top. Cut off the excess and do the same thing on the other sleeve. Okay, on the second sleeve, I guess I should have showed you this part. The ramp, just the rounded part is the only part that the actual sleeve that we cut out is going to put into. You leave the straight cut that we made alone. And just sew this sleeve to the round part that we cut out of the armhole. And that's it. Okay, so the next step is attaching the cuffs to the hind legs. And to do that, we're going to go face to face again. We're going to fold this cuff piece in half. Lay it on there as straight as possible. And if you wanted to, you could stretch this piece a tiny bit so that it makes um, a nice little ruffly type of egg. And I'll do that so you can see. And I'm just going to use a straight edge again. To get started, just slightly pull as you saw. Start to roll and pull it there, so you might have to keep readjusting. Cut off the excess. That's it. When it's done, it'll look like that at the bottom of the leg. Do the same thing on the other leg. So both of our leg cuffs are sewn on. Pull them together, inside out. And just sew a line right along there. Okay, so this is what it looks like at this point. 
Now we're going to do the hoodie part. In the back, and to do that, you just fold the two little points at the top of the collar. Wind the collar up. So straight across, inside out. Oops, Oops inside out. So to turn the corner, see how the needle is down there? This is how I do it. <clears throat> when the needle's all the way down, you just lift up on the foot and turn the fabric. And you don't lose your spot that way. Starting to look more and more like an outfit. Now this is the part around the tail and up under the underbelly that I was talking about. This is where you can attach that piece. Face to face again. I just use a decorative top stitch, like a zigzag or whatever you want to use. And now we are almost completely finished. There's your hood. One's turned inside out. That was the um, this triangle shaped area that we when we first turned the machine or we first turned the material in the machine. And that's what it looks like on top. Cute. Little snip snip and it's all finished looking except for the bottom. This is how you attach the clothes off the sleeves, the armhole sleeves. So you just line up the seams all the way across and it makes a nice stitch on the bottom. For the armholes, I always do an outside seam. For my dogs, you don't have to. I do the outside seam and that way the material isn't on the on her belly where she's laying causing her any discomfort or scratching her and it probably doesn't but just makes me feel better and, and the seam doesn't look bad the seam on the outside of this part doesn't look bad and you could even use like a, a top stitch like a zigzag seam or a zigzag seam <coughs> or that um, square looking edge and I'll do that I'll do that so you can see it doesn't look bad
and just go all the way across, keeping your seams lined up and keeping the material lined up. Cute little doll cutty. And I'm going to show this on Dot. And I'll be right back with her. Okay. This is Dotty after. Wearing her new hoodie. And that's what she looks like with her hood up. She's just thrilled. Tickled pink. <laughs> and that's what the tail looks like. She can still go wee wee. That's what the underbelly looks like. All finished. She's a good little model. She's a good model. You could even cut ear holes out here if you wanted to, but I tell you, they're not going to keep the hoodie on anyway. It's more just for because it looks cute. That's what it looks like when it's flipped back. Tell them bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.